Hey, what's up, what's up, YouTube? This is your host of the most King Geo in the house, and I want to say welcome to my channel. And before I go any further, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Smash that like button and hit that notification bell right there in the right hand corner, and I'll let you know when I King Geo uploaded a video. Now, I want to talk to you about remember Melissa Carone, the girl, the lady, the IT girl who was the star witness for Rudy Giuliani for the Republicans, said that she was there, that she witnessed um, the the fraud, that she witnessed how, 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 how these posters that were doing this, that were doing that. Remember her, her, her infamous video said that I signed a piece, a piece of paper saying that if I lie, I go to jail. What about you? You know, stuff like that. Well, yesterday, um, the Minion, Dominion is the, is the company that has the machine for the voting. And I expected something like this to happen anyway because I was expecting, I knew that they were waiting for everything to boil over. I remember to, you know, from, they, they, they stopped talking about Dominion and the fraud so they can step in. And you know that they have gone to Fox, they said they're going to sue Fox um, and ANC and, and other stuff. And they haven't, and, and, Fox had reiterated, I mean, had retracted his, his um, their statement, ANC retracted their statement, Newsmax retract, re retracted their statement. Um, so yesterday, they, they they sent a letter to Melissa Caron, right? And it was a cease and desist letter, meaning that stop saying what you have to say about Dominion. Stop putting this down. Don't even talk about Dominion. Don't even say anything. So right here, I'm going to put to you what Dominion said. And this is kind of funny because... Here I was, when they said IT, you know, IT, that's technical, you know. Um, if you have an IT degree, you go with computers, you know, you, you can, you, you can do a lot of things you can do. So, when she said she was IT, and then, they, and then the news was saying that she was IT, I was like, what? So, I was like, it can't be. She's too ditzy for that. But anyway, and I don't mean to offend people by saying ditzy. So, yesterday, the Minion wrote this, the Minion wrote this, this letter. It says... You gained international infamy earlier this month as Rudy Giuliani's so-called star witness who could supposedly corroborate corroborate outlandish accusation that Dominion has somehow rigged, the, rigged or otherwise improperly influenced the outcome of the, of, the, of the November 20 U.S. presidential election. The letter which was first published in... The letter which was first published in Law and Crime, read in part. I continue. This is where it gets juicy. We write to you now because you have positioned yourself as a prominent leader of the ongoing misinformation campaign by pretending to have some sort of insider knowledge. And they put this in quotation. Insider knowledge, as you can see. Insider knowledge regarding the Minions' business activities when in reality, this is the cute part, when in reality you were hired through a staffing agency, so that means, you know, you go through an agency, they get you a job, okay? You were hired through a staffing agency for one day to clean glass on machines and complete other menial tasks. Other menial tasks. Now, I'm going to repeat this again. Remember, she went from IT, all this whole IT thing. She went from IT. Wait, 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 wait. My phone, I have another phone here that I'm doing this with. So she went from IT. She says, you were hired for what you were, you, you, you were hired through a staffing agency for one day to clean glass. Wow. So how does, go, how does one go from clean glass to IT? How did Rudy Giuliani have this girl lie? And say that she was IT. You can't you can tell by that what she's mean. she's not IT. So she cleaning glass. So that means she was there and doing other menial work. Whatever they call menial sweeping, mopping, picking up um papers from the floor, whatever. So in no way, shape, or form does it say here that she's IT. She's technic she's technically um, capable of doing a job that, that, that she could do that she can say, you know. I saw this happening because I'm a technician in a computer. Um, I know when computers are being rigged. And I saw this happen. They press this button. This happened. I press that button. This happened. 
or you can take out the memory card and once you take out the memory card it'll read you this it'll tell you this it'll tell you that so that's what IT can do but she was hired to clean glass on machines and complete other menial tasks wow that is embarrassing you know that so here it goes she said that she was IT IT but she's just cleaning glass that makes me that, that that's funny because <clears throat> that's how there's uh, uh, reports going on, on on Facebook how on January 6 Pence is going to give the victory to Donald Trump and that's how people are stupid. Um, uh, Mike Pence is there for ceremonial purposes. You know his job is to call out the winner of the presidential uh, elections. Uh, that's his job. Al Gore did it. If if if, if Donald if it was like that. Right, then Al Gore, when he was baiting, when he went to do it with George Bush, he would have announced himself as president of the United States. The, con the U.S. Constitution doesn't give you that right. Um, so they're saying that. Then you got other conspiracy theories says that it says that how come um, there are 130 something million registered voters and um, Biden got 84 million? How did he come up with 20 million votes? And people just don't understand that in 2016, Donald Trump received 62 million votes. In 2020, Donald Trump received 74 million. So if you're going to go through that, if you if you're going to go through that analogy, so to say, how did Donald, how did Biden get so many votes? So how did Donald Trump get 14 million? I mean, 12 million votes more this year than he did four years ago. Simple. More people. That was 2016. In 2018, there's a consensus. That said that there was 153 million registered voters, and now from what I read, that there's 158 registered voter, and most voters, by 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 by, by if, you, if you see it, are Democrats. So, more voters, more people vote registered for um, Republicans, and more people registered for Democrats. So that's how you get those numbers. Okay, they're not looking at. How many people registered this year? Then I were looking at they're looking at something that was from two thousand and six, no, two thousand and eighteen, I think it was. Or was the last census? They don't even tell you the census, but they just tell you how did the how does the math? It just people are just so dumb. They don't understand. You know, they, they refuse to do research when you are constantly on TV or you're constantly reading, and you read something repeatedly. You're gonna put it in your head. That's what it is. So these people, these people. Don't they, they choose to accept what Donald Trump says? They they choose to accept what Pence says. They choose to accept what what this ridiculous senator, this lawyer in in I mean in, in Texas is doing suing Pence. We don't know how he became a lawyer. I'm thinking that Pence is going to do something, but Pence cannot do anything. This is just a ceremonial thing for Pence that he has to do. That's you know he's he's emceeing he's emceeing the night. That's what he's the MC for that January the sixth. That's all he's going to do next week, and it's, it's funny. And then, and then Trump goes and says, oh, watch for January 6th. I mean, there's big news. People get riled up. And people don't understand this man is what he's doing is that he's feeding you this. And you know what you're doing? You're giving him money for his campaign fund, which ain't a campaign fund. No, or for his defense fund. No, it ain't for his defense fund. He is not for that. It's for it's for him for he comes out of, when, he, when he gets out of office. He has all that money. And he, watch. So he, he keeps telling you all this so you can send him more money. It's just plain and simple. And you guys fall for it. You know, I, I appreciate, you know, when people come to me and they say, yo, King Gio, um, this happened, this happened. They come with me with facts. They can back their facts up. That I, I, I can't refute. I, 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 can't re I can't refute it because those are the facts. You know, I can't say, well, you know, no, I can't do that because you presented to me with facts. Whether you tell me it's from CNN or it's from Fox or blah, blah, blah. I take it from where it comes from. And if I then, then, then. I look at that at that, at that fact that you give me, and I keep looking for more. And if there is a pattern of the same thing, then it's it's true. You know, a lot of worthy newspapers, a lot of novel newspapers, these media outlets, they're not going to go out the limb, and they're going to falsify something just to get ratings, because that can get them sued. They're not going to go through a lawsuit. Maybe back in the days with with, with the Inquirer, yeah, but this is not the NBC, CBS. Or they, these are not the Inquirers. These are people who are, these are reputable companies, whether you want to see them as a left left wing or right wing. These are people who are doing their job. 
And sometimes they do exaggerate. I do say that. I don't like the fact when they say, you know, a cop arrested a black person and they shot a black. I don't like that. Why can't they just say they, they arrested a person? You know, so, they, so to a certain extent, they do exaggerate. But when it comes to things like, things like this, they have to get facts. Because if they don't get facts, ratings is, rating is one thing, but getting sued for millions of dollars, that's another thing. And if you keep getting sued, then you know what's going to happen. A lot of these companies are not going to go to your company to a lot of, okay, King Geo gets sued 20 times. You know what's going to happen to King Geo? Geo pays all those lawsuits. But what's going to happen is that a lot of companies are going to go to King Geo and say, you know what? I, I want I, I want my product to be in your um, in your video because um, you got 30 million subscribers. They're going to say, no, I can't afford to have my product be seen in your in your video because you're getting sued a lot. And that gives it the bad image that we're associated with you. So they will lose a lot of they, they will lose a lot of I mean on sponsorship. You know, so they they, they don't want to do that. You know, that's a lot of money. That's millions and millions of dollars they could be losing. You know, one commercial could be a million dollars for thirty seconds or fifteen seconds on that station. So they'll lose that money. That that that's that's revenue for them. So they're not gonna go through all that. But going back to Melissa Caron, the IT girl, it's kind of you. It's kind of you know. It's kind of funny how they 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 made her look smart, and she herself made herself look stupid.